Okay, handed Maggie to Delirium. Very annoying fight because of the way her HP works. Got damage up at least from that. Lost a little bit of range. And I got a HP up. Can work with that. But it'll at least make the first couple of floors easier, I think. Aerophant. Okay, I can hang on to that for a bit. Pop that before like the uh, second floor boss, and then I can play for Angel Deals now. Curse of the Tower would be a little too dangerous with her unless I find Pyromaniac. Endora's box would be good, but no bombs. Gears up, it's good. Let's go. Pretty decent first floor items. That does not help me one bit. <coughs> I have no key. Or a bomb. Would be a very nice room to get into though. Try to make one let's try to just make one trip back there. Okay, perfect. Two keys now. <laughs> I didn't want to have to make two trips back because I'm trying to make boss rush just for the extra item. Of sin. Honestly, I'm gonna keep the Necronomicon. Get a charge every four rooms, can clear a whole room. It's pretty good. Let's use the chariot for the boss. Take the HP. Go back, take the Hierophant. I think that'll be... Is that gonna be better than Degas? I don't think so. Take Degas then. Never even went in the store, that's fine. Probably shouldn't have taken those rotten hearts. Mm, this doesn't feel like the right way. Getting a lot of HP though. All right, well, it's the right way to the boss. So I might as well just fight this boss now. HP is fine. No angel room, of course. I'll trade a bomb for a key.
Hmm. Sharp plug. I don't know how that how that would work with the young heart here. I wonder if that would fill up infinite HP. I'm gonna test it. Cause if that's a way for infinite HP, then it runs over. Is this room? This is like the weirdest room I've ever seen. Mom's bottle of pills. I think I will take sharp. That sharp charge, whatever. If I can get it, I should be able to. If not, I may have to go get another bomb somehow. How's this gonna work? I'm full. <laughs> it takes two to charge it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I damage boost like this? Um, this could actually be really good depending on how it interacts when I fight bosses. So it takes two to charge it, and it heals two every time, so... My question is what happens in here? Oh yeah, this is basically impossible to die. I can just walk through everything. Because I have iframes the whole time. Oh, this is this is so dumb. This is like one of the only rooms I'd have to do, and I have Necronomicon for this room, so yeah. Shoot, I don't have a bomb. Maybe it stays open. Of course not. Whatever, I'm just gonna go. This is kind of a weird run. So I think I have infinite HP. So yeah. Am I gonna come here? No. <laughs> The only thing is, I have to make this run very annoying the whole way. Yeah, no nothing can hurt me as far as I know. Um, might as well. Uh, yeah, um, yeah let's do it. I'm about to just turn my sound effects down. I don't want to listen to that the entire time. So yeah, you can pretty much just spam sharp plug with this and you're never gonna take damage.
Because the enemies don't hit through it, it doesn't look like. So I feel like this is pretty cheesy, but if it gets me through Delirium, dude, I will take that all day long. That fight is terrible. Oh, dude, Blood Puppy could actually be huge here. That's a lot of extra damage. I'll just go around the room swiping people. Um, Let's just take that, I guess. <laughs> this is so stupid. Definitely the most broken combo with this character. Because it doesn't actually, like, take your HP away either. Because it doesn't know what to do. And I have iframes this entire time. Sure. Wait, did Blood Puppy just hurt me there? I don't know what happened there. I don't even need item rooms anymore. <laughs> Give me the compass. <laughs> Give me a Vord portal. <clears throat> I have technology, apparently. Literally just do that every so often and it'll keep me from taking damage. Oh, and also with this paper here, it'll do the... Uh Every so often, it'll do the Necronomicon effect. Yo, this is actually insanely busted. Oh yeah, I could just spam this for the rest of the run, and that's what I'm gonna do, so let's hope for a Delirium portal. Probably not very likely. I got a devil deal, and I got the boss rush, of course. Well, actually, wait, what am I saying? I can just fight Hush. Yeah, take that, see what's in here. Um, I'll take Succubus, because that's just free damage walking around the room. Anything good in here? Get Holy Shot. Let's just go back now <coughs> and head to the hush fight. Actually, what's in here? Anything? Beam sail. <coughs> yeah, this is extremely broken. Come on. <clears throat> Can literally just keep spamming this until that happens.
can do that in every room. Don't really need a quarter. <laughs> oh my god, this is so dumb. Like my mysterious paper, please. Yeah, see, I can just sit here now and just wait till it procs the Necronomicon. Or I could just use my Necronomicon. I think I'll just do that. I wonder if she does more damage if she gets a damage up with this item or not. That counted as flawlessing a boss too. That is hilarious. Uh, mysterious paper check. I'm gonna spam it in this room. Do not want to fight those spiders. Oh my god, can I pay this guy out infinitely? No, it won't let me pay him out at all. Let's see what's in here. There it is. Open up my door for me. Thank you. Did I proc a holy shot off of that effect? I think I did. Well, BFF is excellent. Um, no, I don't need those. Uh, Eve's mascara might actually help here. Um, let me actually look real quick. Let me see what... What was it? It wasn't kidney stone. What was the other item that was in there? Shoot, I already forgot. Oh, old capacitor is what I was interested in. 
What does that do for charges? Your active item no longer gains charges, but battery drops are more common. Okay, no, never mind. I do not, do not want that at all. There we go. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, I think it does stack with my damage, too. So this is how you beat Hush the easy way. And I dropped a random Eternal Heart. <laughs> Literally just spam my active item button. Succubus. I see you've come to join the party here. I wish I had like a turbo controller or something. My hand is going to get tired. <clears throat> Blood puppy's going a little crazy there. This is definitely something they're going to patch. This is so broken. All right, to the void we go. good so as long as my uh, as long as my arm doesn't give out doing this this is gonna be a uh, free delirium kill which is good because this fight is so annoying and the mysterious paper just makes things even easier because it makes the negative effect happen every so often when you take damage or whatever, so. Just a total game break right here. I think this is probably the most broken I've had the game so far in Repentance. That should kill everything. Another eternal heart, too. I'm gonna keep going to the right here. Just clear out the far sides and then make my way back. Uh, I'm gonna pick that up because I don't know what that does. Dice bag. Also, the bigger Blood Puppy gets, the more damage he's going to do, too, so that's always nice. And there goes half of Isaac's health already. Honestly, any damage ups would be amazing at this point. I'll take charge, baby. This guy's done for. The 
just stand here and let him hit me over and over again? Sure. Hey, movement speed, I'm fine with that. Okay, I'm gonna go in this room on the left now. A random bedroom? What? I've never seen that room before. All you have to do is use this just like literally every room and it'll keep you from taking the like depleting health damage. And then you can just spam it in other rooms. Like rooms like this. I'm gonna need that negative to proc or whatever a little bit more often so that um, I don't have to actually find all these guys around the room. Hopefully this is just delirium so I can get it over with. All right, I found Delirium. <clears throat> so this is the most broken way to play with Painted Maggie. All you have to find is Sharp Plug in the store. If you find Sharp Plug in the store, you can just spam your active item button like I'm doing on the bottom right corner, and it will deplete your health, and then it will continue to refill your health over and over again. But while it does that, you can't actually take damage from the, like, actual effect this character has of just depleting health normally it won't actually take damage from that so i paired that with um i found the divorce papers so i got mysterious paper so as you're seeing every so often the necronomicon effect procs on the screen and that's because i'm taking damage so i'm just spamming my active item button and i am invincible and everything in the room dies and delirium is going to be dead in like one second here and there he goes. And I turned off my sound effects because I'll, I'll show you why in a second. <laughs> so there goes Delirium. That finishes out Tainted Maggie for me. That was a, a hard clear that I've been struggling with for a day or two now. But this is why I turned off sound effects. I was tired of hearing that. <laughs> Anyways, I hope this video helps you guys. And uh, good luck with your Tainted Maggie runs. I was that hypercoagulation appears in the basement. All right, that was it. Tainted Maggie through delirium. Done. Five characters left. <laughs>